Hello, Western New York. And this time, we're going to work on planting some gooseberries. I'm looking at four of them. And they are the Red Hina Vulcan and the Oregon Champion. And that's Paris Barkin. Handy dandy trowel. Handy dandy shovel. Handy dandy pruners, cause you never know when you need to snip something off. Normally cost you about eight dollars, but as you can see, there is no green on this. Same thing with the other red. Um, but luckily enough, the the person that at the place I got this from, a tractor supply store. Noticed, you know, the la these were the last two of this variety. He did not have any more in the back, and so he decided to cut me a deal and took two dollars off. That way. He's got his money, and I got, and I saved some. After all, I was willing to take a risk, so nothing wrong with him giving me a little bit of a bargain. There's a reason why I grabbed the shovel. I got some rocks if you would. <laughs> Neighbors out along with their dog. Um, 
I see. It's uh, see that big in a hole. I got grubs right here. And he can drown. Well, that's not the world's greatest, but... Oh. Having a little... Seems like one neighbor's having an issue with the septic system, and... Needless to say, that side's all dug up at the moment, so... I'm not gonna be showing that yet too much. Okay, let's see. Try and get as much dirt free from this as possible. I kind of, I might want the bread. I might want the dirt, but not the bread. be back in a moment for you guys. Uh, well, like I said, give me a moment and I'll be back with some uh, dirt. Okay. See you in a bit. Hey. Back again. I decided to donate a, this bag to help out, you know, I mean, you know, help out with the plants and whatnot, because, you know, you remove the grass and the, those roots, 
and then I can get all the dirt. So, I'm basically going to be replaced. I'm going to see about using some of that in with. I'm going to see about using some of that in with my gooseberries. Um, please ignore the, the other voices besides mine because currently the one septic system for my aunt, my aunt is getting pumped. They're having issues. I'll uh, get some wood mulch and just put that around and then uh, so that you know what how to do this sort of thing and then after that I'll uh, cut the tape as it were and then uh, get to work on the rest of these and show you the finished product okay <laughs> I think that would be a good idea how to do this so you don't run up all the, the footage Yeah, with weeds and moisture control. Only annoying part is the fact that it is heavy.
at least this bag is. A couple others may be a little large. But still, you are sometimes you get a good price, other times you get you end up paying too much. If you can get a good deal on a good price, good. But, well, like I said, that's how you do your plants. Yes, well, it's quite simple, really. You dig a hole, and you throw in a couple, some, a little bit more soil that, you know, throw out some mulch, put it in your plant, and throw in some more mulch. And that's really it. Now, Like I said, the cleaning the septic system, so it kind of stinks a little. Well, it really stinks. But, uh, like I said, I'll, uh, I'm going to cut this for now, and uh, I'll show you the finished product. Take a few minutes for me, you, not even half a second. <laughs> okay, see you in a bit. Bye. Well, uh, well, I got a big good news when it comes to the red in the milk case. See, there's some leaves on this. And, uh, so, basically there's a chance I might get something. Now, just to let you know, I'm not expecting anything on these new plants. I'm expecting absolutely nothing. Now, I just cut a piece off of my, uh, off of one of my Oregon's. Now, if this was um, a little bit older and a little woodier, I could try using this as a cutting. I got reasonably good results. But as you can see, it's so green. You know, uh, I'm not going to try it, okay? On the other hand, Perhaps some folks would try it, but like I said at the moment, that is a little too green. But, uh, well, like I said, two down, two to go. See you in a little bit. All right. Well, got some good news. I have managed to plant my gooseberries. Oregon champion. Oregon champion. Red him in in no maki. In no maki. Say nothing about the pig swell. Say hello, Ellie. You did five seconds ago. Well, like I said, I got my plants planted. Now, I just got to seal up my bag of mulch as well as the bag of so garden soil I used. And to do that, well, let's just say that. In addition to using a redneck version of the tripod, there's also duct tape. Duct tape. Duct tape.
final step, well, besides cleaning this up, <laughs> and I'll be with you in just a bit. Alright. <sighs> Still, it's coming along quite nicely. Hello again, once again. Final part of this. H2O. You like water and so do plants. That's how you put in plants in general, you know, you, it's quite simple, really, I mean, it's like, you get a shovel, you dig a hole, you put them in the ground. It's that simple. And, okay, there are some plants that you're going to need a couple of special, extra things you, you might want to do. Um, some are, are very picky about their soil. Others could care less about what kind of soil they're in. Um, uh, let's see here, you, in general, you want to pick a healthy plant. If it does not look healthy, don't buy it. But, there's sometimes, like in the, like in the case of these two, there's no, I mean, I, I didn't even know these little things down on the bottom were there. Um, this one, nothing so far. So that, but at the very bottom it did look a little bit green so I'm willing to take a chance on all of these on these two and these ones are just real not reasonably nice, reasonably healthy they have good roots so basically all, all this is with any sort of gardening is quite literally taking a chance and um you might have, um, give me tips uh, and point out what I might have done wrong, because hey, you can always learn, and <laughs> Allie's over there chasing her tail, yes, I'm going to try and catch your tail, <laughs> it's a big puppy. in 
general. It takes no special training, no special equipment, other than a shovel, your hands, your feet, plus some dirt. I hope you enjoyed all this. Goodbye.